guys my name is Portia welcome back to the Portia Laxi channel and today we are going to be talking about the increment in the Louis Vuitton bag I mean their most popular item they have increased the prices and how did I get to know yeah there's a story behind that that's because I've owned a Louis Vuitton bag before and I must say their bags the quality is amazing you know every time you open a louis vuitton bag you know that this is craftsmanship has gone into this bag there's quality in this bag so personally i want one for myself not because it looks nice a way like they are nicer bags but a louis vuitton bag i mean come on the quality is just amazing and i have actually been saving since last year towards this bag that i love so there are two bags that i had in mind so yeah some of their increments is shocking and this particular bag that i want was increased like 25.6 percent it goes even in some of the bags the increment percentage goes as higher as 28 point something it's crazy and shocking <laughs> i know right that's because I've been saving since last year to purchase this bag. Now that they've increased it, I think I have to wait till next year. <laughs> I know it's sad. I wanted to gift that to myself on my birthday coming June 23rd. So yeah, it sucks. It really sucks. And guess what? Louis Vuitton doesn't care about me feeling sad i feel that louis vuitton is a a luxury brand is a luxury they sell luxury items they provide you with luxury stuff and therefore they have their target population louis vuitton is not just for anybody even you and i we can actually save towards it like it could take us years to save towards it and it's possible but for some breakfast lunch dinner they can't afford that so yes it's not for everybody even me i don't think it's for me because if i can buy 10 of that item at a go why should i be buying it but there again i have to pamper myself because just because i don't have money to purchase 10 of them doesn't mean i can't treat myself on my birthday I know I'm a little cheap, but sometimes you have to blend the cheap with expensive for a balance. You have to get to the equilibrium, you know? You don't always have to be cheap, wear cheap dresses, cheap shoes, cheap bag. You can do that sometimes, but you know, sometimes you just have to blend it up a little bit. So why are they increasing the price? Because last year they did increase the price and then this year they have and i i can say sometimes the profits you, you should be making on your item can diminish so when it happens like that you have to increase the prices and sometimes the demand for your item is so high that you have to increase yes if you don't know that that is economics <laughs> Yes, and you have to. And there again, the materials used in producing these bags are expensive, I believe. Because I feel like a brand like LV, if you're buying something from them, they want to give you the best of the best. Therefore, they take in, they put in so much work in making their items. So when you're actually paying for it, it's not painful because you know you're the work that has gone into the items that you're buying is crazy there again i think it has gone through management whatever somewhere is suffering that's why they increase their back and then again there has been um people who actually collect the lv bags and this is what i learned when you collect it to a certain level they can ban you from further purchasing their bags oh yes you said huh yes it's true if you collect them too when you buy their bags to a certain point they can ban you from buying bags and then there's this lady on instagram that was banned for two good years yes 
she's not supposed to purchase any item for two good years. And there again, I think Louis Vuitton has noticed something. For instance, me, when I wanted a Louis Vuitton bag for myself, instead of me to go straight to their website, you know, people claim LV bags are expensive, Chanel bags are expensive. Oh, yeah, Chanel also actually increased um, prices for their bags as well. But that is for another day. Yeah, but you know, we have a perception that their bags are expensive. So normally we don't go to their sites. We actually go to different sites to find good deals for ourselves. But sometimes the good deals turn out to be more expensive than the original bag, like in the stores. Yeah, it's actually true. People buy it from the Louis Vuitton store and actually sell it for more. And I think they are aware. With some bags, people ask, there are certain bags that people buy a lot and sometimes they might not have it in store. People buy them and sell it for more. And I'm, I'm, I think they are trying to get rid of that. That can also cause an increment in their price because we sell it for this. Someone comes to buy from us and sell it for more and people actually buy it. So if people are buying it, why don't we increase it ourselves and then pump up our production? So it could be a factor. You, yes, buy straight from the website, not a middleman. You are the cause for the increment. Yeah, so that is that. And LV, why must you increase your bag at the time that... I am waiting to purchase mine. Like, is it worth it? Or maybe you want me to go to Alibaba. I could have purchased a, a dupe, but that's not what I want. I want the real deal. I want the quality, not just the print or the bag for the sake of this LV bag. No, I want the quality. So someone might ask if it's worth it. What are you looking for in the LV bag? Is it the quality? Is it just because it's the LV bag or the beauty of it? So you should know where you stand. Because I feel if it's just because of it's an LV bag and you want. Obviously, there are different ways to get the price cut, like totally. But if you are looking for the real deal, the craftsmanship, the quality then you have no other choice than to go in for the real deal. So we are going to go through some of the items that was, wasn't was increased and some of the prices that were increased. So I'm going to start with the prices that weren't increased at all. And you have the Speedy, the Speedy series, the Speedy 25, 30, 35, 40 monogram canvas. They weren't increased at all. And there again, you have the Palm Spring Mini. There was no increase in that as well. The Palm Spring Backpack Mini, there was no increase in that. And what else? The Alma MM Monogram Canvas, no increase. The Neo BB in Monogram Canvas, there was no increase. Um, the Petite Mali, there was no increase. And the rest of them, there's been some of them, their increment is very little and some is insane. Yes. So let me give you a few of the items that were increased. You have the Speedy 25 band. <laughs> I can't mention that. So for the rest of them, they have been increased. Some are on the minimum. Some are just crazy. There you have it. Thank you so much for watching. No, my bad. This is the bag, the bags that I wanted to purchase this and this. And yeah, this is the price before and after. But this one is good to go. I'm going to leave the list here for you guys to see. So if you're like me and you've been eyeballing a particular bag, find out if it has been increased or been. Nothing has been done to it.
so thank you so much for watching this video till i see you in my next video stay blessed and beautiful bye <laughs>